They call themselves anonymous. They are hackers on steroids, treating the web like a real-life video game, sacking websites, invading MySpace accounts, disrupting innocent people's lives. And if you fight back, watch out. Fushiman tracks down the hacker gangs in this Fox 11 investigation. Destroy. Die. Attack. Threats from a gang of computer hackers calling themselves anonymous. I've had seven different passwords and they've got them all so far. They attack innocent people like an internet hate machine. We are anonymous. We are strong. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Those who fight back face death threats. <laughs> anonymous has even threatened to bomb sports stadiums. I believe they're domestic terrorists. Their name comes from their secret websites. It requires anyone posting on the site to remain anonymous. MySpace users are among their favorite targets. People like David. The next thing I know, I had a bunch of naked guys on my profile. Anonymous hacked his site and plastered it with gay sex pictures. His girlfriend left him. She thought that, that I was cheating on her with guys. They crashed his computer with a virus and used his own email to infect everyone on his friends list. Out of 90 friends, they killed 32 of my friends' computers. Now, David was apparently just a random victim. We found his MySpace password on an underground hacker site linked to Anonymous. There were literally thousands of stolen passwords on that site. And victims are left wondering, why is all this happening to me? They will tell you we want to create chaos and disorder and ruin people's lives. This hacker wants us to hide his identity, spent months checking out sites linked to Anonymous. They get laughs. They enjoy doing this. They get what they call lulls. Lulls is a corruption of L-O-L, -L, which stands for laugh out loud. Anonymous gets big lulls from pulling random pranks. For example, messing with online children's games like Habbo Hotel. The pranks are often anti-Semitic or racist and always posted on the Internet. But truly epic lulls come from raids and invasions branded on the anonymous websites with an I, like their nationwide campaign to spoil the new Harry Potter book ending. Attention children! Their most notorious stunt? A bomb threat against seven football stadiums which drew national media attention. The claim is that trucks loaded with radioactive material would be detonated in the stadiums. One man was arrested last year after posting the threat, now thought to be a hoax. He's pleaded not guilty and awaits trial. This hacker finally got fed up. I decided to either shut them down or stop them or, or simply prevent as many raids as possible. Anonymous branded him as a Lowe's killer accusing him of ruining their fun. They said they would rape me, they would kill me. This mother's also fighting Anonymous. Her whole family's been under attack. They posted pictures of all of us. Anonymous also posted their home address and phone numbers. Pretty much said that you've got the information now. Do what you need to do. Go, go, go. Death threats started pouring in. Your heart is breaking. You need to keep your family safe. She installed electronic security, a phone tracing system, and bought a dog. <laughs> then she started tracking down anonymous members, called in the FBI, but fears they won't act until it's too late. Would you do something about it if one of us ended up dead? Probably. Some victims told us they just hope anonymous will get bored and forget about them. But insiders say, don't count on that. According to Korea, they never forget. Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.